Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've got a good one for you today. We're going to show you how to configure your contact form so that you get all the fields when you open the email here. For instance, I've got a little form here with name, email, phone, subject and message. If I fill this one out, put my name in there, put an email address in there, pop a little phone number in there, subject, and let's just steal a bit of text from up here for the actual message itself. Okay, I'm going to send this off. There's our little confirmation message. And when it comes into my email, we'll see what we've got. Okay, well, here's the message that we've got here. It says new message from Delightful, which is the name of, name of the site. How may we help is the name of the form. We've got the actual message. We've got the phone number and we've got the email. Haven't got my name and haven't got the return email address there. However, if you hit reply, it'll bring up return email address in the reply to there. But I want to have them all nicely in here. So let's fix that. Let's go back to our site now. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Now let's roll down and go into our little form here. There's our fields. The first thing we want to do is go into each of these and each of these has got a field ID and a title. What we need is the field ID. I've got a little empty notepad here. I'm just going to make a note of the field IDs. Now I'll save that and we'll go to the next one. And again, I'll save that one. We'll go to the next one. I'm just copying these into my little notepad here. And subject. Could have probably guessed these. <laughs> Been a while since I built this site there. Message. I'm sure that's message. There we go. Make sure you get the field ID, not the title. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap all of these in double percentage signs. So I'm going to put double percentage signs there. I'm just going to copy these now. Control C to copy. I'm going to put them in front of all the others. Control V to paste. And I also need to put them on the tail end. So we're wrapping them in double percentage markers. But I'd also, if I leave this like this, this will all come in, but it won't tell me what each of those is. It's pretty self-explanatory for this simple form. But a good idea is to put what they are. Colon. Like I say on this one, it's not such a big deal. It's pretty self-explanatory. But just to show you the difference when you do this in your message pattern, I'll put these in. Like I say, this is a fairly simple form right here. If you want to learn more about it, have a look at one of our contact form emails. We show you how to do conditional logic and things like that in those videos. Have a look at the playlist page. Great. Well, I've got all this now. Let's move this out of the way. I've just copied it. Go back to the main contact form settings. Roll down to the email where you put in your email. Right below the email, you find a message pattern. I'm simply going to paste what we had in the notepad into there. So we've got a name, email, phone, and you can move these around if you want the email on top, then the name, just move them up and down. Now let's save this. And we'll save the page changes here. Exit the Visual Builder. And let's fill out this form again. And we'll grab that bit of text one more time for our little message. Okay, this time let's send it. 
And if I go back to my email now, if we look at our new message now, it's come in with the name, name, email, email, phone, subject, and email fields. Just to show you the difference, here's the old one. Just had the actual text with no title, the phone and the subject, no return email or, or name on there. Like I said, they are in there if you hit the reply. Well, a new one here, we've got it nicely with a name, email, phone, subject and message. And you can change these around in any order you want. And of course, you can add more fields to your form to make it much more complex. We're using a very simple form for this today. So there you go, guys. There's how to configure the message pattern for your Divi contact form. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.